Hey, do you need a dose of encouragement? Well, you've come to the right place because I'm Heidi Rue and this is the Encouragement Podcast. Every single Monday, I'm gonna share with you a 60 second story of inspiration to get you started on the right foot in your week because we all need some encouragement, especially during this time. Today's story is really awesome, especially in light of American Idol just wrapping up like last week. Okay, but before we get into the story, I wanted to highlight a couple of really cool businesses. When the whole COVID thing started happening, I wanted to be able to do something for small businesses. My husband and I are small business owners. We own Atlanta VoiceOver Studio, and it can be tough. So let me highlight a couple for you. So the first one is JSK Marketing. It's run by Jen, and I'm going to probably butcher her last name, so I'm so sorry, Jen. Kajelman? Kajelman? I think that's right. Um, she runs JSK Marketing, jskmarketing.com, and her story is really cool. You may be able to relate to it because she spent 10 years in corporate America and she was overrun, exhausted by the whole grind. She decided to take a leap of faith and start her own digital marketing consulting company, and that's where she's at. And she's really passionate, especially about helping small to medium businesses and her, her value and what she's founded her business on is she wants you to really feel like um, you, the businesses are getting someone that's an extension of their company and not just like another vendor. So uh, Jen, thank you so much for what you do. And if you need any help with search engine marketing, marketing strategy, um, social media management, email marketing, blogging, Jen's your person and she's offering a free 30-minute marketing consultation. So just check out jskmarketing.com. And then the next one is for all you potential mamas out there. This is the Atlanta Birth Center with Samantha Brooks. And man, Samantha is passionate about helping you um, on your birth journey. And you could use all the support that you can get during that time. Um, whether it's high risk or just everything's healthy and everything's good, everybody needs support. And you can check out more information on them at atlantabirthcenter.org. It's a sanctuary and it's designed to nurture um, women and families by providing holistic care surrounding the whole childbirthing experience. And it's actually Atlanta's only nationally accredited freestanding birth center too. So that's pretty cool. So check them out, atlantabirthcenter.org. Okay, so now let's get started into the story, right? All right, here's today's Encourage Minute. Okay, so have you ever like been really passionate about something, really loved it, maybe thought even you're pretty good at it, and then something came along, a rejection, and you thought, okay, this is my indication that I shouldn't pursue it, which That in and of itself can be super heartbreaking, especially if it's something that you're really passionate about and you really love. Well, personally, I felt that way growing up with singing because I grew up loving to sing and to perform. And I never thought like I was, I I didn't really think that I was going to pursue that full time as my career, but I did think I was good at it. And then when I was on rate in the radio, um, they convinced me to audition for American Idol. Um, so I was like, okay, this will make a good bit. So I even sang on the radio and everyone was super encouraging and supportive. And I thought, okay, well, I guess I should do this. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm going to audition for American Idol. I got up to the judges table. I wore this cute little dress, you know, all about the, you got to look the part and everything. Well, (laughs) um, I got up to the judges table And y'all, I was so nervous. My heart was beating so fast. I felt like I blacked out. Like, I'm pretty sure something came out of my mouth from what I remember, but I don't quite remember. And whatever came out, it definitely wasn't as confident. It definitely wasn't as um, strong as it was when I was singing on the radio or when I was practicing. Ah, and man, that crushed me. I thought, okay, this is it. And in fact, that is one of the last times that I sang in public. It's been, it was that heartbreaking. So that's why this story really encouraged me. And it was a good lesson for me to remember because I came across this list. Hillary Scott, Lady Annabellum. She's amazing, right? Her voice is incredible. She tried out for American Idol twice and didn't make it. Colby Calais, twice, 
never made it. She even sang her famous song, Bubbly, did not even make it past the first round. B.B. Rexa, Marin Morris, Amber Riley, Kane Brown, Tori Kelly, Na- uh, Naya Riviera, they all got rejected from American Idol. And some of them even came back later on to mentor. So the lesson in that for you and for me is that rejection isn't necessarily a redirection of your love or passion. Keep going. It's not an, even an indication that you suck at it. That's today's Encourage Minute. I hope it was encouraging to you. I'll have another one for you next Monday. Of course, you can subscribe anywhere you can listen to podcasts or you can follow on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube to get the video version. So have a great day. And today I'm going to say, don't stop, get it, get it. Even if rejection comes your way, 